heaven journey reflecting on the lineage of Jesus as written in the Gospel of Matthew. We examine the radical statement made by the inclusiveness of the ancestry and the pronouncement of Jesus as the prophetic fulfillment of the coming Messiah. We establish that more than a historical analysis of a challenge to an established system of power, the ancestry of Jesus is one that speaks to us today, welcoming every one of us into a new narrative that continues to reclaim systems of oppression and conquest. And we imagine our own creative narrative, our own unique lineage in response to our vision for the land, a community challenging stagnant practices of worship and resurrecting dormant patterns of discipleship, a lineage leading to a modern-day community committed to the continuation of rediscovering what it means to follow Jesus through an intentional blurring between the sacred and the secular. Beyond an argument of semantics, a battle in which ownership of right linguistics pushes one in or one out of belonging and community, the expression of faithfulness at the land invites each of us into a humble relearning of what it means to be human in the context of a universe where we are not authors of the story we participate in. Participants of the story, yes, but not the owners, authors, or even main characters of that story. This morning, we gather in the spirit of what is, has become known as a blue Christmas. The concept of a blue Christmas is relatively new, and it's a recognition of the blues experienced by many people, and how these blues are concurrent with the culture's Christmas festivities. This move to plan and enact these services is largely generated out of local efforts to engage people in prayer and reflection that is honest and true to their inner struggles and yearning. Christmas celebrations in the church and in culture at large focus on a hope that's realized. While the Blue Christmas rites focus on naming what is still painful and shrouded in emotional darkness and uncertainty. Fresh off the warm enthusiasm of the invitation into Jesus' divine genealogy, we enter the second week of Advent, balancing the grief accompanied with the intentional act of decentralizing ourselves from a story imagined once only as our own. A grief arising from the reality that our role as followers, not founders, has some uncomfortable consequences for the perfectionistic tendencies of the modern day disciples. Losing both copyrights and editorial privileges, we find ourselves surrendering, surrendering to the limitations of whatever page life has placed us on in a story of conflicting characters and paradoxical plot lines. Like the moving staircases in a Harry Potter movie, we stand waiting to see where we will end up next in a scene of moving parts beyond our control. And it's fitting to find ourselves doing this spiritual work in the context of the story of the birth of Jesus. A reminder that Mary had no strategic plans nor smart goals when she stood before the angel of the Lord and said, Yes, this is the
very right. And maybe when that when we no longer know what to do, we have come to our real work. And that when we no longer know which way to go, we have come to our real work. Today we find ourselves recipients of a lineage broken open to all people, with the birth of Emmanuel into the world. And in response, we are invited to form creative, imaginative, fluid expressions of this openness in our social context. The real work is a yes to participating in a plan beyond our options, and thus a surrender to our compulsive plan. The real work is to hold lightly this gift of new life, with the understanding that it is not ours to control or to Blue Christmas this morning is at its core an opportunity to stand still, to read the loss of the predictable, and embark on the journey of a floating faithfulness, an ongoing yes, the birth. And so with the progress around us, I invite us to be still and just surrender to on our side. Within this place, God is inviting us to participate in an alternative vision of what the world is cast as being and the characters we are called to play. That we are part of creation, <laughs> each and every one of us. So that all the will be the fan moment will be the fan base right now. And I'm gonna invite us to take a moment to bless these elements, but also to bless one another. Because this journey wouldn't be possible and our parts wouldn't be written if it wasn't for the people that are sitting here with us under this tent. So Holy Spirit, I ask that you bind us together in love. That through this gift of bread and juice, God, you would give us the perseverance and patience. That you would remind us, God, that we are part of something bigger in this place than we ever expected to be and that we will ever know. God, would you place us soundly and with peace in 